Hello and welcome to Millennial Homesteader. I am Masana and I'm here to give you the latest farm update. Now, we got a lot of, you know, communication. People were checking in, trying to see if we we're okay. And the thing is, Audrey and I were actually doing fine. Now, the thing is that for the past few months, a lot of stuff has been happening and we kind of didn't get into the groove of making any videos. So that's why you didn't get anything, right? But we're actually okay. We are very positive. We're looking forward to what's happening in the next few months. Now, the thing is, we have to show you what's really going on on the farm. But the truth is, it's actually what hasn't been going on on the farm. So let me give you a tour and show you what hasn't been happening and what we're actually planning to do going forward. So we're going to start with the garden. So we used to use a hose pipe and, uh, you know, jerry cans to water all of our beds. But now we finally have irrigation. So that means that each and every bed now has a hose, um, you know, kind of like a spray to water all of our beds. So this has been super helpful. This is the pipe. And what we're doing now is that we are pulling the water from the tap and we are spraying into these beds. So it's such a big save. It's really, really awesome for us in terms of time. But the problem is that that water is prepaid. What we actually want to do is get water from this guy, which is the tank, right? We want to be able to pump the water from the tank, put it in here and move it all the way down here, which we've already created. So this is a new project that I have to be doing in the next few days. And if I can't get this, I have to use the water from the tap, which is really expensive and it's a no-no for us. So this is really important. Apart from that, Nothing has really happened on this garden because we can't really put in a lot of seedlings. So, you know, we're just waiting for this to be implemented. Hopefully also it starts raining and then, you know, we can put in the seedlings. But we have to dead end everything and plant again and start afresh. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we add a lot of other things, then we are going to struggle with the yeah. watering. Because, yeah, yeah it's, exactly. it's quite costly. Yeah. And also seedlings also require a lot of water when they're, when they're young. So it's very, very important for us then to also have that water that's required. Um, we do have to get that water in that tank and spray, you know, like we have to be very liberal with that water. So here we're going into the greenhouse. So this greenhouse has been very influential. We really love this greenhouse because during winter we were able to start a lot of our seedlings. But the problem is that now the temperatures are in the 30s. So this has now no longer become a greenhouse. It's like now a, a hot house, right? So everything has had to move from this greenhouse. We had seedlings in there and everything was dying. So we had like tomato seedlings and a bunch of seedlings. And you know, they all just kind of had to be moved. I think here there were actual seedlings and they all just died, right? Yeah. So it's extremely hot in here, very humid. Even when we open up the sides, it's still extremely hot. So this greenhouse at this moment, is a storage room and i think during summer we realize we're realizing now that uh during summer that's what it's going to become right that just the storage area we can't use it right now yeah absolutely because i think in south africa it's really difficult to have to use a greenhouse when in summer months because it's really hot but i know that a lot of the people in other countries are able to use yeah. greenhouse throughout the year but ours yeah no yeah it's not so, gonna work <laughs> yeah i think yeah and i think here nothing much has really changed um you know we had a certain moment i think uh just during winter where it got really really cold and a lot of our trees died uh this is uh, our granadilla or passion fruit tree and it had completely died we woke up one day and it was <laughs> just completely gone it had fruits coming up beautiful yellow passion fruits and then overnight it literally just died so we're so happy that it's coming back we're hoping that maybe around january we'll have fruit again and you know life will be back to wave one so i think that's that's it on this front so this is one little project that we kind of started and then we haven't gotten to it so what has to happen here is that i have to change the wires and kind of tension it out but these are two of, of our beautiful and new apple trees and if you're looking here um there are actually a few apples on this little tree and there's one that's a little bit bigger here Ooh, this one is actually growing um, so yeah, they, these are apple trees. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grow in a, you know, in a, in a way we call, it's called a spalier. So they're going to grow on this wire and then they're going to open up and branch out. So it'll make it easier to then harvest the fruit. It'll also allow for air and, you know, we're quite excited about it. We were a little worried about the temperature in Bombella. It's very hot and apples don't often do well, but you know, we know people who have them in Bombella and they're growing relatively okay. So. We are excited to see how this goes. 
All right, so this is our chicken coop area where more things have also not happened. So what we had planned to do is in the middle of this area, we had planned to close this off, clean this place up, and then introduce a whole new brood of rabbits, which are also not here. So <laughs> that's another project that also needs to happen. What has happened here? Are they laying here? Also, we learned that chickens lose their feathers. <laughs> oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have a new a chicken. Yeah. Oh, that's a new pullet. Yeah. yeah it's, new it's chicken laying. Oh, Look at the differences. Cool. And they're very, very fresh. Yeah. Actually. Okay. Do you have a place to put them? Because nope. I don't have anything. Nope. Okay, I should put them in here. Wait, one, one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel sad because now the chickens will come back and their eggs are gone. Eggs for us. <laughs> so if there is one thing that's been going quite well on the homestead is the egg production. <laughs> it has gone super up, so the chickens are doing very well. All right, the other change that we actually made here is not a very big change, but it's putting the males in here. So I think we had about almost 10 males, right? Mm, and then eight. we just, it was about oh, nine, eight. Nine, yeah. Nine, yeah. yeah, so we had about nine males and then we've been getting rid of them. We had to put them aside because they were just super problematic. They were constantly mounting our hens, so they had to go. So we put them here, and then what's happening is that, you know, we're giving them away. Sometimes we get people and they're willing to take them. And then, yeah, they become meat for another family. Uh, but I find that I don't like the meat too much. It's, it's too hard for me. So, yeah. Okay, so another project that was supposed to happen that I definitely haven't done is fixing the fencing part. So there's supposed to be a gate here. This is not the gate. This is just something that's holding on here. Um, so I'm supposed to fix this gate. I'm also supposed to fix the fencing around because what's happening now is that when the chickens go out, they end up, you know, moving around the whole farm. They're not enclosed here because that fence is non-existent. So that's something I'm also supposed to do. And then also this is actually, this is a greenhouse piece, right? These are greenhouse uh, rods. That's a greenhouse metal. Like that's supposed to be part of the greenhouse. So I'm supposed to put this together and put up a greenhouse, right? We got this so that we could set up a greenhouse down there. But then that's another project that never really got to happen. So there's just a lot of things that need to be done and we just haven't gotten to it. Okay. Okay, so all of these trees are trees we plan to plant. Uh, some of them we're gonna put them down here. Some of them we're gonna put them way down there in our homestead. But that's a decision we're actually still making. One area that actually looks really nice right now is this area right here. Um, we also put in an irrigation for it. Um, and, you know, we don't give it a lot of attention, but it's been growing really well and we're quite impressed. And that's because here we implemented pretty much the biggest change in the past few months. I know it looks a bit weird and goofy because it's literally just a drum. But the thing is, what we've done here is I've connected a pipe from the shower and then also from the kitchen and then i literally direct the water here and then whenever we use water whenever we wash dishes it comes here and whenever we shower all the water comes in here and then i'm able to open this water and then we're able to water down these uh, vegetables now the thing is that this is obviously a temporary setup ideally we want to have a jojo tank or something bigger collected somewhere around this area but the thing is that right now that system kind of stinks um, you know, so it's something that we're kind of working around now The reason why also this is a very impactful project is because Audrey and I are moving away from using toxins inside of our homestead So when we shower when we wash dishes, whatever we do to clean We don't want to use any of these toxic, um, you know soaps or cleaning agents So we've been making our own um, agents that are biodegradable that break down very quickly and that are very good for the earth and that's what we've been experimenting with right there so we are using our own agents and we're really experimenting we're testing we're seeing if the vegetables are growing and so far i think we're quite happy with it it looks good
Okay, so the last thing you saw was this cottage right here, and now it is actually finally done. So what we have to decide still is whether or not we paint it, and that's a decision we're still thinking about. Now let me show you a new feature that we added on to this cottage. Yeah, it's a patio. We actually put in a patio here to allow for shading and covering. So it's welded in, we put in some corrugated sheets, and then in the middle here, we put in these two clear sheets so that it allows for light and uh, it keeps this place, you know, bright, relatively bright. So we're just looking forward to putting our couches and just relaxing and chilling. Now, if you look up there, you will notice that our light is still outside of the structure. So, you know, that is a mistake that we kind of made, but we're planning to move that light down here. But for now, you know, it works. So we're happy with it. All right, now let me show you what it looks like inside. We did the painting, we did the things inside, so it's pretty cool. Looks pretty cool, huh? Like we put in this beautiful white color and then a really nice dark green that Audrey uh, kind of picked out. I really like it. I think it's gonna be chic and really nice. We already had a family member come sleep over here. So that's why you're seeing the bed over there and nothing broke, the showers were working, things were really nice. So I think they really enjoyed it. We just left with, you know, putting a few things, you know, we have a sink that needs to get in here and a few cupboards and things like that. The other thing as well, unfortunately, is that, you know, we are considering putting, you know, burglar bars, which is something that we really didn't want to. But unfortunately, this is our country, right? We don't want to obscure views and we want to keep the things the way they look. But the reality is safety and security is important. So when we are not here, we need to make sure that our things are still safe and secure. But that's it. Like, it's so ready for us to move in. All right, so previously I had promised to give you a whole breakdown of the costs. And at the moment, the costs are about 100,000 rands, right? So we're gonna do a whole video going down the breakdown in terms of like the cost of the materials and the labor. It'll be completely separate and we'll go more into detail. But at the moment, that is the price that we've paid. So that's it. That's the farm update. But as you can see, there's still so much that we need to do. I have to put a fence up there so that I can stop any creatures from coming in on this side because soon we are planning to grow our market garden. That means that we have to clear up the grass over here and put in the beds and plant and get irrigation. So that's all work that hasn't been done yet. And then we're also looking to get ducks into the little man-made dam, but there's no water. So I have to pump the water in. There are also no ducks, so we have to bring the ducks in. And then we're also looking to get goats in here, but we have no goats and we have no goat pen, but you know, Looks like December is gonna be extremely busy for us, but I think that's gonna be really good news because it means there will be content and that might mean a bit more consistency. But you know, I can't promise anything. But thank you so much for watching. We hope you like, share, and subscribe. And then we'll see you again next time.